G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, managing folder permissions programmatically is what we are going to tackle today. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using Power Automate to be able to do that. And also, I'm going to show you some PowerShell uh, as well that will help you manage or grant access to folders. Or in our case, we're going to take a look at document sets. So we can see on the screen here that I'm in a SharePoint library. I've got um, this library here that's gonna contain document sets for every single employee. So we've got a, we might have a process from a third party system or, or an onboarding process that we want to automatically create a document set and then grant access to a, that new hire or a particular person or people or even a Microsoft 365 group so that they then have access and the ability to access the files but also up upload files or content into that document set. So how do we go about doing that? So let's have a look here. Now, this is just a, a normal site. Nobody has access to this site. So the people that we're going to be sharing and creating these document sets uh, for don't actually have access to the entire site. I just want them to have access to their personnel file or their employee document set. So we're going to create a Power Automate flow. Now, the trigger I'm going to use here is just a manually triggered flow, all right? So trigger this manually as needed. So we're going to um, create a manual trigger flow. Let's go uh, generate um, generate employee uh, file. All right, so I'm going to create that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, for this example, we're going to add an input and we're going to call this employee name. All right, but this trigger could come from some other um, third party system if we if we wanted to have that um, there as well. All right, so, but this time we're just going to have a manually entered name. Now the, f the first thing we're going to do after we trigger this is we're going to create a document set. So inside of SharePoint, the SharePoint connector, we've got the option to, and there's an action here, to uh, create a document set. So let's have a look here. We can see here, create a new document set. Now, obviously we need to have the document set uh, content type enabled at the library level, uh, but that has already been done. So we need to pass in the site address. Now, in my case, it's gonna be syntax content assembly. The library is going to be employee files. The document set path is I am going to use the input from this manual trigger. So I'm gonna use employee name that's going to be the name of um, the document set itself. Now the content type ID, we're going to use document set. If we had other document sets uh, or other content types specifically based off a document uh, set, then we could choose that as well. I'm gonna give this a title. Let's just, again, I'm just gonna pop the employee name as the title. Uh, content type ID, we're gonna choose document here in the description. Uh, we're just going to leave blank. So that's gonna now uh, create a document set. So let's save this and let's give this a little test first. All right, let's just make sure that this is actually going to work. So we'll hit test, we'll go manual, and then we'll hit the test button. And then we should be prompted um, after we sign in here for the employee name. So let's just call this uh, Alex Wilbur and we'll run this flow. So now that's running, we'll click done. We can see that it's gonna change. The flow has run successfully. Let's jump back into the document library here and we will see that we've got a new document set with our specified name, all right? So that is all well and good. So I'm just gonna delete this, we're good. So we're creating the document set. Now what we need to do is we actually now need to uh, send that person or share or get grant access to that document set to that person. So let's add another step in here. Again, we're going to use the SharePoint connector and this time we are going to choose the grant access action. So grant access to an item or a folder. Again, we just need to pass in the site the library name, the ID, which I'm going to get from the newly created document step action above, um, the recipient. So let's just add in a, a hard-coded name in here. What we would normally do is we'd want to dynamically generate and populate this so that it's all automated. So the role here, we want to can edit. So we've got two options, can view, can edit. We do want Alex or the new employee to edit this because we want them to upload some content. Um, hi there, here are your files. 
notify the recipients we want to turn this on to yes and let's now give this a test all right so we'll manually test this again we'll pop alex's name in the text box and then uh alex will receive an email a notification and he will have access to this document set so we'll run that the flow's running um, and then that's all been done. Let's double check the uh, the library. So we'll refresh this. We'll have a new uh, document set in here. If I go to manage access, so let's go to manage access here. We can see that Alex now has direct access to this document set. Now, if I drag Alex's email across here, you can also see that he's now received that invitation or that sharing uh, notification to say that Megan shared. Click to open and he now has access to that document set, can see anything that's in there, but can also upload content inside of there as well. Now, because he doesn't have access to anything else, he actually won't see anything else. So you can navigate back to the employee files, but this library could um, be housing all our employee records, for example. So every single employee could have a document set, but Alex will only see his own. So that's how we can accommodate or facilitate that automatic um, managing access to folders or document sets, in our case, via Power Automate. Now let's have a look at how we can do a similar thing with PowerShell. Okay, so we're gonna be using the PNP PowerShell uh, module here, and you can see the first line, we need to connect to our SharePoint site. So using the connect-PNP online, we pass in the URL, and we're going to use the interactive authentication method. So we'll hit uh, enter, and then that will authenticate us. Now, I'm already authenticated here, uh, but you may experience a, a pop-up window where you can log in and enter your credentials. Now, the second, um, line of code here that we're or PowerShell command we're going to use is the set PNP folder permission commandlet here. We pass in the list because we're already connected to the site, we're in the context of the site. We've got the employee files, we've got the identity here, and we pass in the folder name or the, the document set name in our, um, in our uh, scenario here. We then pass in the user that we want to grant access to and also the role. So I'm gonna give Nesta contribute access. So that's the line, we'll hit enter, and that is going to set the permissions now on that as well. So if I move back across into um, Megan's environment here, I'll give this a bit of a refresh. We'll check the manage access um, section again, and now what we should see is we should see both Alex, but also we should see Nesta as well. So you can see there, Nesta's been added to the direct access, now he has access as well. So there we go, we can programmatically uh, not only create folders and document sets in SharePoint document libraries, but we can grant access and manage the permissions uh, programmatically as well, so that we can automate some other type of, inf well, when other information's coming or another trigger, we can then automate that process too. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.